Well, uh, Phil, it seems like it's been ages since we have talked about a uh, new smartphone. <laughs> it does. It does. I mean, and the thing is, we were doing it like week after week after week, and now you know we had that little little lull, if you will. With I think with the Galaxy S three yeah. was the last one, which was an awesome phone. But uh, it's time to talk smartphones again, Eric, because uh, you know this is this is kind of like a homecoming almost. And of course, uh, we're talking about a new Android device today because those come out like uh, every other day. It seems like <laughs> <laughs> probably now. But we've got the, so we've got the Droid Ray. Razer M in here. And uh, so, you know, if you were, if you might recall, Eric, mm -hmm. way, way back when, when we both owned yes. the original <laughs> Motorola Droid, right? This is my first Android phone, this one right here. And, uh, you know, wow, that's an antiquity. And, 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 and now, right, I th the Smithsonian's been calling <laughs> once that phone, except there's a million of them out there, right? In fact, you know, I've said I've got this phone in good mm -hmm. use, but here's the thing, a brand new one. And so now I've got a, a nice, look at the size. I mean, it's got a small phone. I mean, it's not got the giant screen on it. And the thing is, it's a 4G LTE built into that pack. That is a nice size. It's very light. Um and you know, I do. I like that you mentioned that you know it's got a reasonably sized display because that's something we've really been seeing with smartphones as they keep getting bigger and bigger and bigger. You know, and no, wait a second. I don't know that we know what reasonably sized <laughs> is, right? But what we know is that you can choose now yes. between little phones that are easily pocketable, like would fit in a shirt pocket, and other phones which are the size of an open newspaper. <laughs> just about <laughs> it, right? I mean, we've got all the sizes in between. But this is back on the small size, and quite frankly, I mean, I'm one of those guys that because I carry a tablet so much of the time. I would like my phone actually to be a little smaller as opposed to bigger because I'm not relying on my phone to do all that stuff. I mean, I'd like my phone to make a call and have my connections in it. So now is this a, um, we were talking about this earlier, and it's a pretty um, low price point on this phone. So, uh, Yeah, you know, these guys are talking about a $99 entry point on it. Now, I, I'm supposing that's from everybody. This one we've got is here from Verizon, mm -hmm. but a $99 price point entry on it. But you've got 4G LTE. And you've got ice cream sandwich on it. I mean, yeah. it's pretty. I mean, it, this is a a well equipped. Phone, it is a well equipped you know? phone, especially for that price point. We looked at an LG. I uh, forget the um, uh, phone, but we looked at an entry level Android LG offering um, a few months ago. That um, was a. I don't know. It was pretty powerful, but it had some uh, power issues, battery issues. Right. So uh, it's interesting to see another one of these and. Um, have you had an opportunity? You, you've just gotten it, though, so I guess you haven't really had an opportunity to evaluate battery life and all we of that. We haven't cycled the battery. You know, it's got a 2,000 milliamp hour lithium-ion battery in it. So my guess is that on, if, on a well-behaved day, you probably are going to get much of a day, but not the whole thing out. But, yeah, you know, this is a demo unit, which I just received, mm -hmm. so I haven't had a chance to test yeah, it for myself. Um, yeah. I, I, the thing that I did do uh, this okay, uh, when I was yeah, playing with yeah. it this morning was so I I do you know when I get I do a clean reset of all uh -huh. these phones when I get them, when they're 4G like this one of the things I do is I then turn off the Wi-Fi because I want to watch how that performance right. works on the 4G LTE, and uh, again you know I did that trick it's Android the thing we love about mm -hmm. it key in a couple of pieces of information and kaplowy yep. you know in just a matter of minutes my 6600 contacts had downloaded yes, over the yeah. web or downloaded right. over the 4G LTE. It had all. It had loaded my apps. The apps that I loved the most were already or then loaded on the phone as well. So it had all the stuff in it that I want, and it had done it over the 4G network, and it looked great. That's the thing that I love most about Android is switching between devices. It brings all of those contacts and a lot of times your Wi-Fi settings and those things as well with it. So Yeah. And the thing is, you know, we've talked about this a couple times before, but, you know, if you live in the Googleverse, um, you know, these Android phones do a great job of it, which means my contacts, my calendars, my mail, my Google Mail, Gmail comes across beautifully. You know, it's got an 8 megapixel, meg, eight megapixel camera as well as a front camera for you doing Google Hangouts and that kind of thing. But, uh, you know, this is a thing. What they're doing here that makes these phones more and more attractive is the fact that Apple is kind of pulling away from it, right? My, right. my Apple devices do not configure or do not... Uh, connect to my Google Mail and contacts and calendar the way they used to. In fact, the newest upgrade, you know, it broke some things that still don't work on my iPhone. And uh, that just, uh, to me, makes these phones even more attractive. So uh, what's the display like on this? You know, we've increasingly seen these getting, you know, sharper and sharper and, uh, you know, 
increasingly high resolution. I would guess this is probably no different. You know, I, I don't know about high resolution. Again, you remember the trade off there high resolution versus battery, battery life, life right. right? So it's a 4.3 inch Super AMOLED display, 540 by 960. So here's the thing when you look at it, it beautiful. looks nice. It, it is really nice. When I brought the thing up, I was like, wow, look at those, the animations on it. Are really good. Reading the stuff, you know, reading the display is really nice. Uh, it, it, Motorola has done some, I want to say HTC like things. And I know the real Android guys don't like that what they do sometimes but you've got a beautiful clock display on it you know they've done cool things a lot of oh, flip between good. multiple clocks uh the way you manage the screens is more sense like so i think th i think they've come up with a nice pocketable phone and it's not going to break the bank all right and it's still that same form factor that we um grew accustomed to with the previous the predecessor just the droid razor that's so, it so do you remember though the, over the droid the droid life right when we got the first one we said look if you're a blackberry person there's a nice <laughs> chance because you got the keyboard right you use the keyboard and then after we had it for a year or so we said we don't need that don't keyboard. use that keyboard we, don't, we never use the keyboard wouldn't it be nice to have the phone without a keyboard there it is right and so uh now we've um We've next, taken... they're going to add the keyboard back right, probably right. next time. But right. you know, this is—I just think this is a great little phone. So we take that form factor, the Android operating system, and we continue to increase, <laughs> ever increase the processing power. Yes. Yep. Yeah. And actually, I thought was I was doing a little bit of research into this device, and uh, what I thought was interesting is that there is also a developer edition that's out there that has an unlocked bootloader. Which means that people can, of course, this is my favorite thing about Androids. People, it takes the thrill out of hacking <laughs> yeah, your phone away, though. People can root it, and then they can uh, develop custom uh, ROMs for it. Uh, now, whether or not uh, the actual end-user device can be uh, uh, rooted remains to be seen, I guess. It always takes a little while with a new device, but probably eventually people will get there. So I'm going to guess you can do it. <laughs> we'll see. I'll have to do a little bit of research into it. So. All right. Well, thanks for uh, sharing the latest uh, offering from Motorola, the Droid Razor M, yep. with us today, Phil. Sure thing.